This is Jason DeBoard with the Original Prop Blog, and we're going to take a look at the upcoming Prop Store auction on December 1st. It's titled TV Treasures, and it features the Commissar Collection, or at least pieces from the Commissar Collection. And Prop Store is always really kind about sending me their printed catalogs, and so I thought we would take a look at this before we delve into the online listings and uh, look at the contents of the auction in a bit more detail. But um, I know Prop Store, they take a lot of pride, not just in what's in their auctions, but the presentation as well. And I haven't really cracked this catalog yet because I was waiting to do this preview, but I can tell just from the cover that it's, it's something different, it's something cool. So um, included, I don't know if it's included with all of them or just mine, because I think this one came directly from James Commissar. Um, he's known for wearing white gloves when he handles material in his collection. So this is like a little keepsake memento celebrating pop culture since 1989. So that's pretty cool. Um, little tongue in cheeks. So I like it. And he sent me a little note card. He, um, had some conversations with me, I think, leading up to and surrounding the preparation for this auction. So he sent me a little thank you note, which is cool. And then the auction catalog itself, um, you know, this looks unlike any auction catalog I've seen, which I think is probably what they're going for. So it's got this cutout in the center, and then you've got these uh, holograms within on the inside front cover, which is really cool. Um, I know Prop Store takes a lot of pride in, in these auctions that they put together, but I know presentation is also important for them. And this is kind of setting a new benchmark for them. This is pretty cool. So let's take a look inside. Like I think I mentioned, I have not looked through this at all yet. So I thought we would just um, take a quick look at the presentation and then we'll um, go onto the website and, and sort of take a look at the contents of the auction a little bit more. Yeah, so this has all the information about the auction taking place in Valencia at Prop Store, um, information about how to bid online, bidding increments, payment plans, which it says must be approved in advance, but Prop Store has always been really good about working with collectors to um, do payment plans. I don't know if any other auction house that actually does that formally, so that's um, pretty awesome. Talks about reserves. It says some are sold without reserve, majority are sold with reserve, so keep that in mind. Um, it also includes their COA, which is one of the only good COAs in the hobby, in my opinion. So that is a, a big selling point. And that coupled with the fact that it comes from the James Commissar collection, this is a really good auction. Um, yeah, so this is beautiful photography. Um, there's some information, a little note from James Commissar here. A note from Stephen Lane from Prop Store. Yeah, so this is a beautiful catalog. I mean, it's laid out really nicely. You can tell a lot of care and effort went into putting this together and there is a lot of material. <laughs> so. Um, I gotta assume it's all from television. <laughs> and a lot of it's gonna be vintage pieces because, you know, James Commissar has been collecting longer than pretty much anyone that I personally know. So 
Um, and not just television shows, but, you know, anything that appears on television. Like, I, I'm sure he has things from commercials and things like that. But yeah, this is a, oh, speak of the devil, the California Raisins. Um, yeah, beautiful catalog. Like, this photography is amazing. This is definitely one worth picking up. Just if you're a fan of television, even if you're not going to participate in the auction. Um, it's a beautiful catalog. Hundreds of pages. Nice two-page spread of... Um, I'm assuming this is Star Trek. Yeah, so this is... 354 pages, so it's it's a pretty massive catalog. All the terms and conditions are on the back. Okay, so there's a 25% buyer's premium on the hammer price, so just be aware of that. Um, and for the rest of the video, we'll um, take a look at the lots via the online catalog. So I jumped onto the official Prop Store website, which is set up at propstoreauction.com, and I thought I'd take a look at how they have this TV Treasures live auction set up for um, people who are interested in the auction. And, you know, Prop Store is really good at improving kind of what they do each, each time um, they do an auction. And their website looks really nice. I like this interface. There's um, a countdown for when the auction is, which is super helpful because especially at the end of the year, it gets really crowded with all these auctions. And I think people lose track of, of when things are happening. And here it's right in your face, you know, 25 days, 18 hours, 22 minutes, one second. And there's a big bid now button. So, you know, they make it really easy for the customer to figure out what they need to do to participate in these auctions. So there's these big buttons on the page. Um, there's a button here to place bids online, register for phone bidding, register to place absentee bids, order the printed catalog, which we just looked at, and then download the PDF catalog. So I did download the PDF catalog, and there's also a little um, YouTube video here which I have not watched yet. You never forget the shows you watched as a kid. These shows were my after-school worlds, and I started collecting as a way of preserving these worlds, because at the time, they were being trashed. So this is great. I mean, it provides some context and history to why James Commissar started collecting and some backstory. And then if you participate in this auction, it has that pedigree, you know, it's not like some random piece you bought on eBay. It's, you know, from a legit source and it's from a legit auction house. So, you know, it's a really impressive auction. I like that right here on this front page, there's information about shipping and the terms, you know, it's not hidden somewhere deeper into the website like you know usually it's at the back of an auction catalog and that's it but here it's all up front so you know no mystery there if you click we're on the auction info tab if you click on the catalog tab it brings you to the typical um you know online auction listing where you've got multiple per page and you click on an item and it's going to tell you the estimate, the starting bid, there's a place to place your bid and there's information, you know, the lot description and the estimate. And again, there's all the, the nitty gritty details about um, the auction terms. So, you know, that's really good. So let's take a quick look at um, the auction catalog. And I'm totally just going to blast through this and just stop on, you know, a handful of things that might catch my eye. And like I mentioned, I haven't even gone through this catalog at all. So I'm really curious to see what's in here. 
Um, yeah, and it's great also with the PDF that it spreads out across two pages like this. Um, so the the online PDF viewing experience is actually as good as the catalog. So we've got just trying to see what how we have this ordered. So everything here is from the X files. Because Prop Store tends to do things alphabetical. I'm wondering if it's running backwards. So we've got Twin Peaks. Nope, it's not alphabetical. Dark Shadows, Beauty and the Beast, Charmed. Yeah, these photos are beautiful. This is just a really, really well, um, well put together auction here. Elvira. Yeah, and I was a huge, huge, huge fan of V and V the Final Battle in the 80s, so love this stuff. It's awesome. Sequest. I've never even heard of Holmes and Yo-Yo, <laughs> so leave it to James Commissar to... Uh, preserve these strange artifacts. It looks pretty cool though. It's some outfit with a cassette tape and calculator built into the chest of it. So Battlestar Galactica, that's pretty um, recognizable. Buck Rogers, oh, these, the photography in this is just awesome. Love it. Roger Corman, Buck Rogers, loved Mork and Mindy. Mork's Instamatic Uniform Silver Space Glove with Practical Light-Up Palm. That's pretty awesome. Egg-Shaped Spacecraft. Wow. What's the estimate on this? Twenty to $30,000. Pretty interesting stuff. Like every page in this catalog is just eye candy. Planet of the Apes. The Hulk, Wonder Woman, Captain America, Lois and Clark, Howard Stern, American Gladiators. Yeah, this catalog is just incredible. I don't think we've ever seen a TV auction like this ever. So this is pretty amazing. Pee Wee's Playhouse, just because it covers everything. Wow. Croft Super Show, Land of the Lost. Claymation, The Raisins, The Noid. Yeah, so there's a lot of um, television commercial material in here too. Toys R Us, which is pretty timely. The Twilight Zone, which I loved. You never see anything from The Twilight Zone. So, and this is obviously from one of the most famous episodes of the whole series. Night Gallery Paintings, Adam's Family, Bewitched, I Dream of Jeannie, The Munsters, like these are all just the classic, classic shows. Doctor Who, Lost in Space. And I'm only like halfway through the catalog, so. Um, my Favorite Martian Spaceship. So this is 80 to $100,000. So it'll be interesting to see if everything in this sale goes. Um, I know with Paul Allen passing recently, he was a big buyer of the sort of higher end and more challenging to display science fiction pieces. So, um, you know, it's sad, but one of the, one of the people who actually created a museum and, and saw it through, you know, has, has passed on, but hopefully the museum will live on without him. 
Get smart. Wow, pretty awesome. Smoking pipe phone. So Star Trek. I know a friend of mine um, is probably pretty excited about some of the pieces in this auction. Original series Klingon Disruptor. Yeah, these these are like really historic pieces. Yeah, this is a lot of really, really good Star Trek material. Pretty awesome. So this is Spock's costume, twenty to thirty thousand dollar estimate. And then Kirk's is forty to sixty. I believe this is the episode where he kisses Uhura, I think. I'm not the biggest original series expert for sure, but yeah, really, really impressive stuff here. Star Trek Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Batman and Robin, <laughs> Joker grenades, Robin's costume, the Riddler's costume for a hundred to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I know there's a a big uh, '60s Batman costume sale recently. I think it was a Riddler costume. I, I'd have to double check. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'm sure um, that is kind of informing this estimate. And then the bat shield, I know um, James holds in really high regard, is an iconic piece, 400 to $600,000. Honestly, I, I personally don't see it selling for that much. Um, it's an important piece, but unless someone's really into Batman specifically, um, like I watched it in reruns as a kid and I kind of remember it, but it's not like super iconic to me as someone who I guess you could say was a more casual fan of the show growing up, you know, watching it in reruns, but we'll see what happens. Uh, loved Lost. So these are pieces from Lost and costumes. Awesome photography. I love this stuff. Beautiful catalog. This is one of the best auction catalogs I've ever seen for sure. I mean, both the material and how it's presented, it's just beautiful. This is stuff from Heroes. I never watched that show, so. Six Feet Under. Which makes me wonder if Dexter's coming up. <laughs> True Blood. Nip Tuck. So these are the cable... HBO Showtime shows. So now we're into the Sopranos. Boardwalk Empire. Breaking Bad. Huge fan of that show. Sons of Anarchy. Okay, here's Dexter. One of his stocking ensembles for two to three thousand dollars. That's definitely a low estimate for that. More Dexter material. His wallet. Pretty awesome. Forensic kit. License plate. Yeah, this is great stuff from Dexter. Oh, yeah, I remember all this stuff. This is incredible. And $600 to $800 estimates. These are really low estimates for these. Ice truck killers. Um, fingertips. Nope, oh, that's it. So we end on Dexter. <laughs> so anyway, this is like an amazing catalog. It's beautiful. Love this. So I'm really curious to see um, how this auction does. It's kind of 
crowded in between a lot of other auctions. You know, we've got the Prop Masters one. We've got, I think, a four or five day Profiles one coming up. Julian's has a bunch of auctions. Um, I think we just missed a Heritage auction in the last couple of days as I'm recording this. So, you know, November, December is always a really big auction season. So um, it'll be interesting to see how this does. I'm glad they're doing it in the U.S. I think that will help um, for them doing a, a big live auction here as opposed to um, London, which I think I think the VAT thing is uh, a barrier for some bidders in the U.S. And obviously... A lot of these TV shows are going to be of interest to people in the U.S. because, um, like, people grew up with them here, and you know, British television and and U.S. television were very different back in the day. So, you know, I'm I'm really curious to see how this goes. I'm excited for both James Commissar and Prop Store. I'm friends with both both of them, um, or at least the people at Prop Store and with James Commissar. So, I'm I'm really excited to see how this does. A lot of really cool material, and um, I know it's just kind of the tip of the iceberg for James's collection, so I'm curious to see um, what else might be coming up in the future. But anyway, I, I just wanted to take a quick look at the catalog and share some thoughts, and um, I'll definitely do one of these after the auction and kind of talk about the results um, once the auction's take taken place. So. Thanks if you've stuck through this whole video. I don't know how interesting it is in video format, but I thought I'd try something a little bit different and um, a little uh, less less written word, more just audio version of kind of what I do on the um, original prop blog. But this gives me a little more latitude to just sort of share random thoughts without taking a ton of time writing them down and hoping that people read them. So anyway, that's it. Thanks.